Let's talk about female. <laughs> female and, and male courting. When you're trying to impress that lovely girl from a male and a female perspective. So as a man, you know, when you see a girl that you like, what are what are some things that go through a guy's mind? Like, damn, she's fly. Well, I want to hook up with her. You asked the question, what goes to a guy's mind or what goes to a successful guy who actually gets the girl's mind? Okay, okay the, guy, the guy who's not successful. The guy who's not successful is probably going to be intimidated. Um, he's probably going to stumble. He's either not going to say anything to her or he's going to say something that's going to bring his value down in the woman's mind. Because when a woman is looking at a guy, the first thing she's doing is uh, is uh, kind of like, um, what's the word I want to use? She's um, assessing his value. That's true. And from a girl's perspective, that's how we are. Like, if, if a guy comes to us, you know, like, let's be real here. Everyone tries to say, you know, it's all about the personality, mm -hmm. which is true. It, it is. But that's only if the girl has a pure heart. She's going to look beyond the, your flaws and be like, well, he's a really nice guy. How many girls have a pure heart? <laughs> well, I keep it real. I, I don't even think it's that. I think... The personality we, comes in after the girl assesses you and, and, and the woman, I'm sorry, not the girl. After the woman assesses you, the guy, and he passes the test. Of course. No, 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 then no. Then the personality yeah, comes Yeah, as, as like, like, real, realistically, a girl, we see, when, when you go in the room, you, you look across the room and you see that you already know which guy you think is attractive. Yeah. Instantaneously, by mm -hmm. looking at them, like, A, B, and C is attractive. Mm -hmm. Everyone else is not cool. So let's just say everyone else came up to the girl and was like, hey, honey, you look pretty, blah, blah, blah. If the girl's nice, she'll just, like, do small talk just because there's no one else to talk to. But if she likes a guy, then she'll like, you know, kind of give him clues. Yeah. What does a successful guy think? A successful guy does what I just said. Um, he looks at her, and then he sees... He, he, he might approach her, but he approaches her in a way that doesn't um, devalue his stock in her eyes, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. So he wouldn't give her... He wouldn't be over-complimentary, especially if she's beautiful. Because, again... A successful guy knows it depends on the girl, the woman in question. Um, sometimes a beautiful woman has the approach, a really beautiful woman has the approach differently than a, a woman who's attractive versus a woman who's average versus a woman who's ugly. Sorry to say it, but that's real. The person who's ugly, you can get away with saying compliments to now. Because they're insecure. Yeah. Okay. Um, the person who's beautiful hears the compliments so much, she dismisses you and puts that where she puts you with everybody else. That's the difference. Mind games. <laughs> I mean, yeah, of course, dating is war. War is all a guy mind game. Dating is war. You know, like I remember somebody I don't know who it was who revote he retranned the art of war and put it the art of art of war, but for love, mm -hmm. love is war. Love is battlefield. I don't know who said love is battlefield. I, I think that like, there's a Pat Benetton song. Yeah, I, yeah. Love is a battlefield. You know what I mean? Like, there's no question. It's it, in the beginning stages. It is a game. It's a chess game. Yeah. You're playing chess. It's ego against ego right there. No question about it. Unless you're just naturally charming. But even if you're naturally charming, um, it's like somebody can't follow your blueprint and it's going to work for them. Somebody who's naturally charming or let's say somebody who's extremely handsome, a regular person can't follow that blueprint and be successful. That's true. You know, so you wouldn't use that person's blueprint in this. You're, you're going to look at it from a neutral perspective, a person, the average person looking at it. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. and, I, and then you a woman, you know, it. I mean, let's be real. You're an attractive woman. Uh. Um, would you not agree... That you probably can't, a, a guy probably can't approach an attractive or beautiful woman the same as he approaches an average woman or approaches an ugly woman. Would you admit that? I don't know because I have, I, you know, I have friends that, that, you know, we all go to the club together. We're all different looks, shapes, and sizes. And I have friends that are average looking that be like, oh my God, no, that guy, ugly guy did not try to approach me. Oh, hell no. Like, you know what I mean? And I'm like, they're average. So I think I think what happens is with with girls is we're always being approached a lot of times that we kind of feel like if you are an average looking guy don't even try to look at me <laughs> because average guys is probably looking at them. Now when it comes to like, I I think it does it, it basically depends on the amount of ego the girl has. Like if she's if she's very egotistical and she feels like oh everybody loves me, then one she may go to the extreme of always wanting attention so she can feel validated. So she's always wants compliments or guys worshiping her. And if no one worships her, then she's going to have a bad day. Even if she looks great that night. And then there's girls who are just like, I just want to go out. Don't, don't, you know. I'm just with my friends. It's not that serious, you know. And, and then everyone's looking at them. And they feel validated. Because a lot of times when a girl's really attractive, they feel validated when they get attention. And the guy doesn't have to come and talk to them. But the validation wouldn't give the guy power. That's my point. Yeah, the, that's true. Like the, the violation like, wouldn't give the guy power. It's feeding the ego, but it's not going to be making. But if you're going to ignore her, but if you're going to do that mind game, you're going to completely freaking you don't have ignore, to ignore her. her. You don't have to ignore her. Okay. See, 
I'm saying if you if, if you ignore her, then not, I mean she's I'm, gonna be like you're not that hot anyway. I'm not see that's the thing. I'm not saying to ignore her, but you have to exhibit behavior. We all talking about the guy who's successful in courting the girl or the woman, not the guy who is just another victim or it's just a, another person who the girl is dissing when she's talking to her friends. Mm-hmm. Um, I agree with you, but now you're making you take the, the the boxing gloves off because see you're not an ordinary woman. Like you know you you have a you you approach it like from a male perspective in certain things. Oh, I do? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, and realistically, from my perspective, a guy shouldn't really be over complimentary to any woman. What he should do is approach a woman in a way where the woman starts talking about herself. It's a difference. You be complimentary, but you be complimentary in a way that's playing chess with her ego. Right. He has to be complimentary in a way. Like if she has, I don't know, a necklace on or some kind of stuff, when you say, what's the story behind that? Get the, get the woman talking about themselves. That, but, but once, once right. they start worshipping them, they hear that everywhere. You might validate the ego. But if you do get in a relationship, you're going to be in a position where you're the submissive person in that relationship. I think the best thing to do, which I can agree with you, is if you're an attractive girl, get her to get your attention. Get her attention. Maybe make small talk with her, like you said, like like that that's nice bracelet. And then when she starts to talk to you, just say, okay, have a good night. And then mm-hmm. walk away. And then she'll be like, wait a second, he never he never worshipped me. Exactly. Well, like what you're saying, which is true. But, but then what I'm saying is if you're just an average guy, and then... Or you are an attractive guy, actually, and you just completely ignore her, then she's going to be like, okay, so what? Mm-hmm. There's another guy. But then there are guys who's done this. Like, they will come because you're attractive, and they try to act like you don't really matter. So they try to, they put 20 on the 10, so they'll come up to you and be like, hey, what's up? You know, oh, you need to fix your, they, they, they try mm-hmm. to correct you. But that's, like, that's ridiculous. Yeah, you know, but it happens. Mm-hmm. Like, there, there's guys who will come up and be like, uh, excuse me, um, you know, maybe you should, they, they, they try to correct you, and then you're looking at them like, okay, well, but that's fine, I don't really care if I fuck what you think anyways. Well, I'm going to be mean. Mm-hmm. I agree with you. I'm mm-hmm. going to be mean. Honestly, if a, a, a male approaches a woman, mm-hmm. and she's cocky, and she says like, well, you know, like, you know. And we, girls can yeah, be cocky, because yeah, we do do that. Yeah. Honestly, and this is going to be mean, we'll move on to somebody else. See, once the guy has the mentality... It will approach, It will come off in his vibe. Gracious. That's true. Move on to somebody else. Like a woman who is so cocky that you can't even give her a compliment, and she's gonna feel like her head gets big. You shouldn't want to mess with her anyway. Exactly. That's so true. to me, once they start treating like that, their conflict is honestly. People talk about looks. Women respond to confidence. To be honest. They do. They're not looks. They Men do. are more into physical looks. Yeah, they women. are. A, bit, a guy is gonna be like, listen, I want a beautiful woman. I don't even, he doesn't even care if she's confident. Like, she's beautiful. Mm-hmm. But women are, respond more to confidence. So mm-hmm. once the guy gets in his mind, hi. I'm moving to another woman. Somebody's going to say, yeah. That's true. That registers in their vibration a lot more. Right, because in the ones, it's like, because girls are kind of like intuitive and then they sense that sense exactly. of rejection. They're like, oh, no, you just not rejected me. Exactly. For my ego, I'm going to make you worship me exactly. because everyone else is worshiping except you. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's why sometimes people think women like bad boys. It's not that they like bad boys. Bad boys are just more confident. They yeah. Confident. Or they just like, or what happens is because a bad boy has a lot more girls. Yeah. So they'd be like, well, if I. Because they have more confidence. But, but, but it's, but it's, it's kind of like this. You know how the, ba- the, the girls want the bad boys. They'd be like, mm-hmm. well, he has so many girls. Mm-hmm. But if he picks me out of all the girls, then I know I, that, that validates my, my, my confidence mm-hmm. because of all the girls, I want them. So I can look at all these girls and say, I beat them. So exactly. is that really because you really want him? Is it because, it, because you want to feel validated? But she, but she wants a man with who's confident. But yeah, but then, then once the man submits and says, I no. love you, baby. This is courting. Keeping and courting are two different things. That's a whole okay. number, number video. Okay, so let's keep it to courting. Yeah, that's okay. the, this is just courting. <laughs> keeping and courting. Keeping. So in essence, if you want the girl who's kind of has issues, you kind of have to be kind of like standoffish for a little bit. Because once you submit, um, the courting game changes completely. Of course, it changes completely. Because or he, a guy got to remember, she was attracted to you for a certain behavior. When you submit, that behavior that you're doing now is not the behavior that got her. And I know, girl, oh my God. So now you're going to say, never submit. I'm not going to say that. Mm. But it, you got to have... You gotta, some, gotta be, it's like you said, it's a bad thing. You got to have a paycheck. You got to right? have small compromise. There's mm-hmm. one thing of... Co- compromise and submitting is two different things. So how from a guy's perspective? How do guys see girls? Oh, you're just so beautiful. I love you. Oh my God. Most guys... <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Most guys are... Um, In the... The be- they beauty. worship... Beauty. Beauty. Um, and that is kind of superficial. And then not only do they worship beauty, some some males, because they're not even confident, worship any woman who gives them attention. Like, it, it, the roles are flipping a little. Some guys just worship. Some guys just, they put women on a, such a pedestal that they can't even talk to. That's what, can think of it. If you're a nerd, no offense to nerds out there, and you're not used to. And I think nerds are really cool, actually. Yeah, and they're not used to, I think they're cool, too. Mm-hmm. I actually prefer to hang with the nerds than Me the too. cool guys. Mm-hmm. And they're scared to talk to a, a woman. Why? Because they put the woman on a pedestal. 
You're only going to be scared to some, of something that you think is of high value. Now, what they should ask is, why is that person of high value? Mm-hmm. If they're high value because they're beautiful, I'm sorry to say, you get that, you, you should. The thing that people don't realize is beauty is, is, is only skin deep. So eventually what happens is, you know, it, it fades. Yeah. So what happens is when, when a guy, if a guy, you know, if a guy only likes you because you're beautiful and he's worshiping because you're beautiful, what happens when you start aging? That's what true. happens when, you know, when things, happens, when things don't... When he gets used to your look. <laughs> when, oh, yeah, that, that's true. Once he gets used to your looks, he's like, oh, this is, she's not that hot to me. Mm-hmm. I'm used to her. Mm-hmm. I see her every day. I'm normal, used to it. Mm-hmm. Like, eventually, if, if he's only for the thrill of your looks and he's not going to stay around that much, he's going to look for the next hottest good things. Because there's always, no matter how beautiful you are, there's always going to be a girl who's prettier than you. I agree. In, in someone's eyes. You know what I mean? No one's going to be like the beautifulest girl in the world, ever. And so, that's really interesting. So, so. I guess that's a separate video on, on, on maintaining or, or, or preserving a relationship. With oh, I, that, that, yeah. that, that could probably create a big fight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But, but yeah, accordion is that. And then for girls, too, it's like, then, then it's like, you know, you have the number, you got to, you know, first get, you know, get the girl to like you then you get the number and then you got to know how to like what's the right time to call what's mm-hmm. the right time not to make yourself not so available right mm-hmm. Definitely. it's really interesting so i guess that's a good that's gonna be another video i enjoyed this discussion really you know? yeah it's pretty cool i think it's much it's needed I, I think i think um relationship you know confucius said it right you know he said you have a secure family secure neighborhood so secure neighborhood secure state secure state secure country secure countries sec- secure country secure countries so call it secure country, secure the world. world. So basically, everything starts from relationships. Yes, in the household. and if the relationships messed up, then then the the whole world's messed up. So because the world's messed up, let's bring it down to the prime. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to probably fix the problems based on the world. You gotta go house by house. So basically, if relationships in the houses work, and then everyone else yeah, will work. I agree. And it seems like the divorce rate in Cal- in not California, but in the United States is horrible. Yeah, it's like that in most Western countries, though. Yeah. So what do we do to bring love back in the world? We gotta know about each other. Guys, guys have to know about women. Women have to know about men, and they have to know about each other. And they have to respect each other. They have to know the strengths that the male gender brings, the strengths the female gender brings, and then and they have to be able to harmonize those two energies. And I know it sounds simple, but it, I mean, you'd be surprised how many people can't get that right. Right, that's you know? true. So you really have to understand. Um, it's kind of like the Venus energy versus the Mars energy. Yeah, exactly. You really gotta understand that. Stuff. Literally, and then bring them together, and then try to see how it works. That's hard because I think <coughs> a lot of times people think of themselves; they don't think about the other party. Well, I mean. I think it's hard because people don't even have themselves fixed. Mm-hmm. Before we even get to relationships, people have got to kind of address their own demons. That's a whole nother, that's a whole nother video. Right. You know, it's very hard to address your demons, your inner demons. You know? Why is that? Because people naturally want to run from problems, and there's nothing more problematic, problematic than the inner problems. That's how it always is. Um, and people don't want to be real Serial themselves. killers, child molesters. Every bad thing you could think of is an internal problem that they don't want to address. So hmm. people go to the external problem, but the internal problem... And now, I don't pretend to know why internal problems are so hard for, for people to address, to be honest. That one... I think it's I because they don't, they don't want to be real with themselves. I don't know why. Maybe you're right, but I, I've always or found Or look at strange. a dark past, or look at a dark moment, or look at um, some point in their life where they, had, they were hurt, mm-hmm. and they, were, they built some type of persona or some type of um, something in their life that made it to deal with it. Mm-hmm. And if they just looked at it and addressed it and shed light on it and mm-hmm. dissolve it, maybe it can be healed. But maybe I'm, you know, I'm living in a fantasy. You know, I don't think so. I mean, I, I think you're probably right. You yeah, know? but it's a problem that has cause to, and effect. It definitely has to be addressed. That's why I, I don't. I don't even like to say it's relationships only. All so-called light workers or counselors or psychologists have to address their own skills and approach everybody on those problems. Right. Like you know, everybody has problems. We all the world's the problems are systematic all over the whole system. Is spread. It's like a virus. Mm-hmm. But I, me personally, I feel. The domestic household is extremely important because you can't build a strong nation if the whole household is not strong. That's just my opinion. And that means Cannot. we have some major problems right now. I, I think that's why the world's going to end. Let's hold another story. Oh, wow. <laughs> can't wait for that one. See you guys later. All right, cool.